Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Remember to follow me on Facebook. Nitro Kyosho, all one word, brings you into the community page. Uh, well, haven't made a video in about a month, guys. Winter's here now, slowing down with the flying season. But I wanted to show you something really cool. I've had this for a little while, and I just have been forgetting and forgetting to make the video, so I apologize for that. But this is a video for anybody who has been to hell and back <laughs> when trying to solder. Anybody who's pulled their hair out while they're soldering, struggled while they're soldering, and uh, needed a third hand when they're soldering. So this is an awesome product. Uh, I think I either got it from Healy Direct or a main hobbies i don't remember which it's been a while uh but this is they call it the third strange hand and uh it's just an incredible thing to have when you're soldering it uh i think it was last summer i had switched over completely to the rc pro plus um, from ec5s these are great connectors, and before I got them, I said, boy, I got a lot of soldering to do all the batteries and the ESCs and everything, and it was about a seven-hour, probably, project to do all of the stuff, and uh, I didn't do it all at once, obviously, uh, but this thing made soldering a breeze, and I wouldn't have been able to do what I did without this thing, in my opinion. Um... It also comes with a little fan to blow the solder away from you so you're not inhaling it. You want to be in a well ventilated area anyways when you're soldering, but uh, there's a screw. There, um, all of these little alligator clips, I believe yeah, all of them have a screw hole so you can move this black screw around and you can screw this fan into any of them, any of them that you want. Obviously, there's six of them here. Uh, the alligator clips come with a uh, shrink tube on them, so when you're putting them on something, you're not scratching or damaging or biting into the wire. No issues with that. If it does wear out, you can simply just put a new piece, cut it with a razor, take it off, put the same size shrink tube, and re-shrink tube a new piece on. So it's, it's really no big deal. Uh, it has a very nice heavy aluminum base, okay, and in the base it has little uh, sections to store stuff, little things when you're soldering, <coughs> you know, your little connectors or whatever have you. Um, I didn't have any issues with it tipping when I was soldering. Uh, you're not putting extreme pressure on stuff when you're soldering anyways, but if you did have that issue, just simply lower it down, okay, uh, lower it to the table, and, uh, you know, you won't have that. Obviously, the higher up it is, the more apt you're going to be, you know, tilt tipping it. The lower down it is, the less it's going to do that. I had no issues with that at all. Um, I didn't use, I, I used the fan once, and I just wanted, because of the mass amount I was doing, and I had it plugged into a power bank, I used a bigger fan to draw it away and just I did it in the cellar, open a cellar window because that much solder, you got a lot of smoke, you don't want to be inhaling that crap, you know. But this sells for around, uh, I believe it was around anywhere from $35 to $40 depending where you got it. And uh, the uh, alligator clips open up big enough to hold like a Castle 160 ESC, a 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 8 gauge, whatever wire you have, it opens up enough. It opens up big enough to hold these, uh, the male side of the RC Pro Plus, which is pretty big. And I'll, uh, I'll show you close up so you guys can see. I just put a couple of little demonstrations here for you with some uh, of the RC Pro Plus and for anybody uh, just so you could see it could hold uh, some other style um, connectors. <clears throat> um, but uh, 
pretty much not a lot to talk about guys just a quick video to show you this and, and tell you about it's just a soldering jig um, so I don't want to waste a lot of your time let me uh, take that camera off of there and uh, I'll bring it over here and show you how it looks I'm trying not to shake this and make anybody dizzy okay to show you some examples here okay that's the female side all right of the RC Pro Plus this is the male side and this is pretty much just to show you it can open up big enough to hold these uh, monster size uh, connectors and there's your little window there to solder okay and one of these old style, I don't think too many people are using these anymore. Okay, but that would show you how you would solder with that. And that's just a little uh, storage down there. And, uh, has little rubber feet on it so it doesn't slide around on you. And, uh, that's about it guys I mean it's just a beautiful little soldering jig and I mean it can do everything and even if you're not in the RC uh, hobbies and you're doing any kind of soldering boy this thing is a lifesaver I fixed one of my kids uh, uh, superhero dolls with this thing holding parts of it and soldering and it had like little LED lights in it and uh, had to re-solder something and uh, definitely a nice uh, Definitely a, a, a nice addition to have when you're doing any kind of soldering. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that this uh, video helps you uh, do some nice soldering and not pull your hair out and uh, and uh, be swearing and going crazy like I used to. So, uh, thanks for watching.